Human memory is unreliable enough as it is, but researchers interested in better understanding how and where our memories are stored are developing new ways to manipulate them. The search for memory engrams, a collection of identifiable neurons that physically represent a memory, has occupied scientists for over 100 years. Turns out, memory is a complex process that involves several brain areas. We know that when your brain makes a memory, physical changes and a strengthening of connections between neurons encode the information so that you can remember it. The complete network of these neuronal changes is what we now identify as an engram, or memory. Once scientists learned how and where memory was stored, they wanted to know if they could manipulate it. So, good news for your memory of that painful breakup, teams of researchers have demonstrated that emotionally important memories can actually be removed in mice. It's not full eternal sunshine of the spotless mind for mice, but we're getting there. In one study, researchers eliminated a set of cells in part of the brain's emotional processing center, the amygdala, and were able to erase a specific fear-associated memory of receiving an electric shock. In other studies, scientists were able to use optogenetics to implant a memory of pain and fear into mice by activating an engram of one place when the mouse was actually in another. First, they created memory of safety by placing a genetically modified mouse in a new cage and letting it enjoy its experience. Then they placed the mouse in another cage and delivered foot shocks that they did not enjoy while stimulating neurons that formed the memory of the safe cage at the same time. When the mouse was returned to the safe cage, they exhibited a classic freezing response, which is a mouse's way of showing fear. This told researchers that as they intended, the painful memory of the shock was now incorrectly associated with the previously safe place. New results from experiments with human subjects who had already had electrodes implanted in their brains as a treatment for epilepsy showed that tracking learning efficiency through brainwave monitoring and pairing poor learning predictions with direct electrical stimulation improved memory and recall. This means that the right kind of stimulation could help us remember certain things we would otherwise have forgotten which could come in handy the next time we need to cram for an exam. Maybe in the future, our ability to manipulate memory will help us remember important information and help us forget painful experiences like those associated with PTSD. But the results of these experiments also calls into question how we know what we know. We use memories all the time to navigate life and make predictions of future outcomes. The idea that memories are not immutable shakes our understanding of our subjective experience. I mean, who will we trust in the future, if not ourselves? 47% of the general population surveyed in a published study believe that once you've experienced an event and formed a memory of it, that memory doesn't change. After watching this video, do you agree? Let us know in the comments and check out Trace's video here to find out whether typing or handwriting is better for your memory. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time on Seeker.